everyone, I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. Before we get started, let me remind you that all the products used will be listed in the description box along with links. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your interaction with my channel is very helpful to my channel and greatly appreciated. So, now to today's video. I've been painting these flowers using watercolor and I wanted to see if I can replicate this watercolor effect using alcohol ink. So I have some watercolor paper here taped down to my desk. It's the one that comes on a roll that I tell you about all the time and constantly curls, so I have to tape it down. And I have my dry palette as well. Um, if you have any questions regarding a dry palette, check out the videos in the uh, playlist for dry palette. It will explain how to create one, how to use one, and why you would want to use one. So I have a nice big brush here. Uh, I'm not sure who makes this brush. Artist Loft? Necessities? Anyway, um, this is a size 12, and this is the brush that I'm going to try and use to create this effect. Well, actually, this one would be a little more difficult, so we're going to try something a little simpler like this one, very loose. So um, first thing you want to do, just to give yourself a guideline, is you want to draw kind of like an oval or a circle. And it's so hard to see this on, on photo paper. You know what? I think that I'm just going to wing it. So uh, what I will do is try and create an area where I want my center to be. Oh, sure, now it shows up. So that's going to be where my center is. So I want all my, all my petals to my flowers to meet in that area. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to mix a little bit of um, ink to get the color that I want. So I'm just putting some on my palette and blending it together with other, other colors to get the effect that I want, or rather the color that I want. So I'm going to remove most of the ink from my brush because I want to start off with a really light touch. So let's see how this goes. I've not tried this yet, so. When you use a dry palette, it really helps um, helps you with control of the inks, which normally you know you don't have. And you want to make sure your brush is not too wet. And I find that the more you go over it, sometimes the worse it is. So put it down and leave it alone. So using a larger brush is helpful to create these petals so that you don't need too many strokes. And I really should leave a little bit more white space in between, but it's kind of hard with the alcohol ink, much easier with watercolor. Okay, in the front here, I have a petal that all you see is the back side of it. So I'm going to put that petal in now. And then on this one, you see I have two other petals that are kind of flipped up at the ends. And I could try to do that. Let's see.
now I'm going to try and do that petal that's flipping over. So I'm going to darken my color so there's a contrast. And I'm going to use the tip of my brush. Actually, that turned out much better than I expected. Okay, so now I'll do the one that's in between. I'm going to be careful not to touch this petal here. And now there's, actually I have to make this one a little bit bigger. And I should make this one a little bit darker as well. So let me pick up a little bit more color. Since this is the back of the petal, I want it to be darker. All right, now let's work on this other petal. I'm going to take off some of the color. I mean, some yes, some of the pigment that's on my brush. And now I'm going to pick up some more ink to make it darker. And I'm going to do this little flip over here. I suppose that this may have been easier if I used a smaller brush, but I really like this particular brush, so I'm just going to use the uh, tip of it. And see what I can do with it. All in all, that wasn't so bad. Let me see if I can... All right, that's not so bad. All right, so I'm going to clean off my brush a little bit, and I want to remove some of these hard lines. From that petal. And now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush um well, let's try this one and i'm going to try and create some highlights by removing some of the ink like i have in here some of those highlights there i'm going to try and do that by removing some of the ink with a dry clean brush so i'm going to continue to dip into the alcohol dry off my brush and actually, um, I think an aqua pen would have been perfect for this. But mine has water in it right now. Let's see if I use a smaller brush, if it might be better.
I'm going to try not to get too crazy because I can become obsessed. And I really want to keep this simple. So actually what I think I'll do is I'll come back with a gel pen instead and fill in those areas. Um, create some highlights with the gel pen instead of getting crazy. All right, so now we're going to work on the center. And you can see here that it's yellow and then an orange and then a brighter orange or a deeper orange and then some brown to create that kind of center. And I kept it very simple in this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start out with my bright yellow. And I want the consistency to be a little thick because I want it to stand out. And actually, you know what? I think some of these petals need to come a little bit closer to the center. I drew the circle to use as a guideline and then completely ignored it. <laughs> it happens. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to start by putting in these little yellow kind of like dashes, little lines, very small lines. They're hardly noticeable. So far. I'm going to bring them down because then I'll go around them with the other colors. All right, so that's the yellow. Now I'm going to go into some orange and again using a thick consistency on the brush. Introduce the orange, bring it down a little bit, and now I'm going to go into a brighter orange. Making sure that I don't have too much alcohol on the brush because I really don't want it to spread too much. And now I'm going to go into a brownish color. That's a little too light. Let's go into this one. And again, make sure you dab it off so that you don't bring too much alcohol onto the paper because it'll make it bloom and ruin your painting. So always dab it off on a paper towel just to make sure that it's the consistency and the uh, as wet as you need it to be and not more. So I'm going to bring some of these darker ones up to the top as well. And now I'll go for my darkest brown. All 
that didn't turn out too but too dark so I'm going to add some black to it then I'm going to go around this petal here because I want to make sure that I don't have any white space there so I'm going to mix some more brown and black to get it a little bit darker and start adding that in too much alcohol and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going I don't like the way this looks so far but um let me I, I, I thought the center would be a little difficult, but I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to mix a little bit more of the yellow. I want to make it a little bit more round on top. I think it's too flat. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Now I'll go back to the orange. Add that in. I'm just going to clean my brush and try and blend some of these colors in a little bit more so it's not so drastic. All right, I think I'm going to leave it alone because uh, I think the more I play with it, the worse I'm going to make it. So I'm going to leave it alone. All right, so now we have the stem to do. So I'm going to pick up some alcohol and I'm going to pick, I want to make a kind of brownie green. So I'm going to mix a couple of greens together. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. And I want my stem to be coming from here. And I like a thick stem. And my light will be coming from this area, from that direction rather. So I'm going to pick up a little darker green, make a darker green, and on this side and underneath that first, uh, the top of the stem, I'm going to make it a little bit darker because the light does not hit that area underneath that petal at the base of the stem. And then I'm just going to darken this side of the stem. Okay. 
thin blotting off my brush and I'm just going to add a little darker color to this side and I'm using kind of sketchy strokes so it kind of blends in together And then I'm going to create some leaves like you see here and here using the same colors. Let's see how this goes. You know what? I think I may actually use the larger brush for this. So let me clean that off. Pick up that green. Pick up some more color. Yeah, I'm making it kind of sketchy. Make this one a little bit bigger. I'm going to use the tip of my brush to make it a pointy leaf. And I'll pick up a little bit more color and I want to add, make it a little bit darker underneath that petal. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it alone <laughs> before I mess it up because I have a tendency to overdo it sometimes. Okay, so hopefully this is dry. And what I'm going to do now is this is a Uniball Signo Broad Tip Gel Pen. And I'm going to use this to create some, if I can get it working, to create some highlights In my petals. So I'm going to come from the base and I want to taper them up. And I want to keep them going in the direction of the petal, following the contours of each petal. So you see how this petal is kind of swooping down. So I'm going to do my lines to follow that. And I can see that the gel is um, picking up some of the color that's underneath. That's okay. Kind of softens it up a little bit. And I want to create a little bit of highlight in here, so I'm just going to throw in some white dots. 
in this area because the sun is coming from here. So I'll just add a little bit of highlight in there. And maybe at the tip of some of the petals. What happened there? All right, let's see if I can fix that without destroying it. All right, let me leave it alone. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to put a couple of little lines in here, too. And again, the light is coming from this direction. So I'm going to add a few highlights from the stem. And then the petal, or rather the leaf. But I still want this side of my stem to be a little bit darker. So let me pick up some more ink and see if I can darken it up a little bit. I could probably use an alcohol ink marker to do that. I make the best stems with um, alcohol ink markers, but I'm going to try and stick to a brush today. All right, let's leave that alone before I mess it up. Let's get some lines in this area. A little highlight there. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone and call it finished because uh, if I play around with it too much, I may ruin it. And right now I really like the way it looks, so watercolor and alcohol ink. Um, if you're careful and you take your time, it can be done. And with some practice, it can even be better than this. This was my first try and all in all, I think it turned out pretty well. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to take a look at the description box for a list of all the products used and uh, the links. And please, 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 like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel and it means a lot to me. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.